Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Opposite Saxes. Here we are again. Yep. The, 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 the screen shows a, a he and a her. And it's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. It's Thursday. Thursday. That's how that's how we know what day of the week and what time it is. <laughs> because boom, the camera goes on and here we, here are. we are. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we talking about? Don't give me any attitude. I'm not giving you attitude. Yeah, you are. Yes, sometimes I do, but not today. And, and if any of you had ever had issues with attitudes, ha ha, I'll bet, I'll bet you do all the time. <laughs> we do. And we, we, we started ta talking a little bit about, about what is attitude? How has it changed over the years? I think generally, in general terms, I think the public has got a heck of a lot more negative attitude than I remember 10 or 15 or 20 years ago. Well, that's true. And I, and I, I, I honestly, I totally agree. Uh, whether or not you think there's fake news out there or the news is real or you don't watch the news, um, well, I, there's I, something going on and people are not as happy as they once were. Well, the word, the word that I kind of associate with, with the change in attitude is respect. Because I think, I think a lot of people have just not, they don't know what respect is how to be respectful of other people. And if you are not respectful of other people, you got a bad attitude. Well, this is one topic we do agree on as far as people having attitudes have changed amongst people. Yeah. Um, I mean, you and I, are a whole different story, but. Um, have you noticed that, that less people in stores say thank you when you, when you go into the stores I mean, even from the grocery stores, uh, you go and you're spending $100 or more on your groceries and they hand you your receipt. And sometimes they don't even say thank you. No, you know, I so, find most of the cashiers that I deal with, they do say thank you. You get the generic, it's, have a nice day. Yeah. And sometimes you get that. And sometimes you get the people that are rushing out and slam the door in your face. And other times there are people that hold the door open for you. Um, it's all to varying degrees. I mean, varying I'm, times. I'm just saying, stop and think. When was the last time that you went to a restaurant or something and the waiter or waitress comes back? You know, you, you, they give you your, you give me your, your credit card. Right. They come back with a slip and you sign it mm -hmm. and all. And then you get up and you leave the table. When was the last time that that waiter, or, you know, came back to you and just said, it was really a pleasure taking care of you. I hope you'll come back and see us again. Sometimes they leave that up to the, to the, the seating hostess at the right. front of the restaurant. Right. And sometimes they say something and sometimes you walk out without them say the, that generic attitude of, of interacting with human beings seems to have, have waned. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it also depends on, you know, when you're talking, because there's so, so many different, are you talking about, like we said, cashiers, are you talking about the average Joe? Are you talking about the driver in back of you or in front of you? Well, I guess I'm being uh, generic it, about it. That it, that uh, it just depends. It, it yeah. it's all over the board, and I think some of it is that people are not happy with the current political climate. Some people are not happy with the medical climate. Some people are just in a hurry. They have so much on their minds, they're not thinking. You know, um, I mean, there's probably some people that say that there's been a change of attitude ever since COVID started. You know, we went a year and a half where we you didn't talk to anybody. You were masked up. You you would maybe even walk off of the path around somebody else because True. you didn't want to get within six feet <laughs> or so. And attitudes have changed a little bit there. Our yes. attitudes towards people in stores, whether they are masked or unmasked, have 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 changed. But there's just a generic. But I think it is. I think as much as eight, 10 years ago, it was it, it was coming on with political climate. I uh, think uh, it, it was starting to affect people and the way they acted and what they said and what they did. But say. that's where that word respect comes into. They, 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 yes. they, they lost respect for each other. And, be, and because of that, attitudes changed. It, it was kind of OK to bash somebody, to give them nicknames to call them names uh and and that's yeah. that's part of a of a bad attitude. and it makes it it makes it difficult with our younger people with the kids today 
because it doesn't set a good example. And so they start acting out and not being respectful of their friends when they're with them. And we're talking kids as talk, young as elementary talk school. Talk about a group that might might have a little bit too much attitude. It might be the kids. I mean, when we were growing up, well, boy, if you gave any lip to your parents, you, you, you might find yourself in your room. You might find yourself with a belt across your bottom or something. If you talk back to your parents, but, you know, today it's like, okay, to, to tell your parents, you know, leave me alone. I'm going to do whatever I want. But you you want to know something? A lot of times the parents aren't around. Well, that's so true. the kids, the kids are growing they up differently been there today. To develop the attitude. And yeah, well, or they're developing the attitude, but the parents are too busy with work and trying to make ends meet uh, to really <laughs> devote enough time to disciplining. Um, that's true. I, I mean, it's, right. it's, it's changed. Everything has changed. The landscape has changed. Everything. And now that people are getting back into the public uh, arena, you know, going to concerts, going to uh, restaurants, uh, you know, going back to, to in service at their churches and synagogues, uh, the schools opening up and the kids now going back and, 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 and being uh, among their friends. We're reintegrating with each I'll other. You, and it's hard. I mean, you, I don't you know about you. What are the attitudes going to be? It seems very strange to be going to some social events and having to talk with people for more than five minutes. Yeah. I mean, there's a difference between talking to people on the phone or on Zoom and being right there in front of your face. Um, that's, and then there's the whole that's mask why a whole mask issue. People would just as soon send a text or a, a, an email. That way, they don't have to physically interact with people. I didn't. I had a very difficult time. I told you talking to this woman um, last night that we were in a social situation, and she was sort of masked. Uh, and again, sort of half half masked. It's, yeah, it's half staff. And, and that that's the other thing. But that's. As I always show. say, that's another show yeah. because she doesn't know how to wear a mask or she didn't care or she didn't realize it. But I kept bagging up from her because the mask was under the nose. And I mean, it creates a real, for me, uh, difficult situation. I kept backing up and she kept coming towards me. And um, but yeah. anyway, that's getting off the track. Yeah. Um, yeah, but socializing and attitudes, I mean, it's all changed. And what what I was concerned about was our attitudes. I mean, I'm concerned about everybody's attitudes and, and, and how we all get along in society. But I got to live with this one. And you have I, to live I, with I, me. <laughs> I, I always have a positive attitude. This you are a very positive person. You always have been, and I've always admired that. That that is you. that is interesting between the yeah. two of us. One of us is an optimist, and the other is a little bit more of a pessimist. Well, and opposites attract. That that that's but true. But that's usually how it is. I think that and that's anybody a woman. that knows us probably knows who the optimist is and who the pessimist right. is. Right, but I think that's a woman, and I think a woman is a bit more sensitive and thoughtful and worries about her her family and. You know the kids more I so mean, the guy. I, yeah, I mean, I think the guy, guy says, "Oh, shrug uh, it off. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be says, fine." The guy says, "Don't worry about it," and, and yeah. hand, hand me another beer. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, <laughs> That's, That's, yeah, you know. yeah. But but yeah, you have become. I think in our old age, I think people naturally change as, no, as no, no, we no, age. No, 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 no. You mean our mature? Yeah, I'm age. sorry. I shouldn't say old. I pardon right. me. Yes. Pardon me. Our, our advancing years. I'm reminded of it, of certain things every day. And I just think old danger, but, <laughs> but that's, that's like the, 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 it's, it's almost getting not to be politically correct to say we have been old friends for oh yeah a long time. Yeah. Some people would resent that. Yeah. You're supposed to drop the old. Right. We have been friends, friends for, for, for a eons. long time. Yeah. Or since we were kids. You just don't say, oh, he's one of my oldest friends. It, it, and when you get to be our age, how do, what, right. how, what, how do you define old? <laughs> but but you, you blow hot and cold. And I think I kind of stay the same. I have gotten to be, 
I wouldn't say abrasive. I've been sharp. <gasps> sharp, you think? Well, I don't think ass sharp. Assertive. I think assertive. Assertive might assertive be a good word. Or yeah. stronger. You stronger. You are becoming a little bit more of what I have been for for years. I mean, sometimes maybe it's just yeah. my, my my background and all, but uh, I sometimes can get uh, uh, to the point of a little bit heated if I'm trying to make a point. Yes. And, As and you talk were, about assertive. You were last the other night. Yeah. I, yeah. I, you know, well, if, we just had to back off of that subject because it wasn't you, going anywhere. Oh, no. It wasn't I not was going pretty. left and she was going. It right. was not pretty. Yeah. And but would you say that that was attitude? Yeah. yeah. Whatever. It's part, then, part attitude. Yes. Yeah. Then I had a harsh attitude. Yes, you did. And other times when you should be harsher, you are as sweet as pie. So and it's just, like, Ugh. just let it go. Yeah. Let it go. Or, it or go. you're overly nice to something or someone you shouldn't have to be. Well, I usually take the short, the shortcut. We, we've had this discussion a lot too, is sometimes when we want to send a reply to somebody, you know, you can, you can sometimes sit there and write two or three paragraphs <laughs> and I will say, I'm trying not anymore. And I, yeah, I will say, be brief, right. make your, make your point fine. briefly, say right. three paragraphs, maybe right. in three sentences. Right. And then that's like throwing the ball into the other person's court and let them come back with a response right. instead of laying your whole argument out up, up, up front. That's correct. And, and I, and I have and tried so we, to, to, to work on that. Yeah. I've worked very hard at that. And I think I've made some gains, maybe not as large as we'd like to see, but I have made some gains. We, we try. Yeah. But then on the other side of the coin, uh Oh, here it comes. You can write, letters notes texts and you can be a little too harsh i, I no I, I was gonna say a little too sweet oh really oh okay yeah. well i i can go both ways yeah you know yeah. It, is you, that what you, you want to say well, you're not you're not going to tell them what you really think <laughs> and, and i guess my approach really is that i would rather go in easy and then see if they come back harsh and then go in for the kill rather than just saying, you're either going to do it my way or I never want to hear from you again. Yeah. But some people, depending on who you're talking to, could take it. As attitude. <laughs> no, but if you're being too nice, is what I'm saying. But didn't anybody ever tell you to kill them with kindness? Yes, they they did. I, I guess that's, it just that's, depends that's on the probably the on best the way to diffuse timing to diffuse a bad situation. But what if it's not a bad situation? What if it's just... It's probably not worth getting involved in anyway. <laughs> if, <it's, laughs> if you don't disagree about something, then why bother? Just sit down, have a burger, some fries. What are you giving me attitude? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Why? Did, did I miss a point there someplace? No, never mind. It's, just, <laughs> it's, 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 it's for not another worth show. It. Yeah, it's just not, it's not worth bantering about. <laughs> well, no, but go ahead and finish your thought. No, because... I was just, I'm just saying in certain times and in certain venues, uh, I think you can be too nice. But then on the other side of the coin, yeah, you can be very, very gruff. Well, that's that's where and I think you, we have to learn to to be more in the middle. Well, not necessarily. It's just that that's where right at the top of the show where we start to talk about changing attitudes yeah. is that when I'm real nice, sometimes you will say say to me. Why are you being so nice? Yeah. Why don't you do this? Which means that your attitude has changed and a it little has. bit. It really has. Uh, it has. I mean, I used I, to be. I'll, I'll, I used to be probably be more outspoken than I, than I am now with with situations. But then there are other times where I just I just get incensed about the way something goes. We know. And and I jump. 
Yeah, we know. That's all right. You're human. Yes. So we many are. wasn't. Oh, there was a movie called Many Faces of Eve. Remember that? That was a long time ago. Yeah. Many Faces you know, of Stuart. Oakland. <laughs> Marcel Marceau was very good at that. Whatever. So, well, anyhow, we'll we'll work on our attitude. You can work on your attitude, and then one thing is to make sure you come back and see us every Thursday at one o'clock to see so. what the latest attitude is that we have. <laughs> so, it may not be pretty, but yeah. then again, it might. Yeah, go out, make it a good one. Bye. <laughs> Bye.